Zapel2.js has a nice bunch of utility as CDA, which were pretty useful at any time to visit uh, and understand the internal uh, usage of memory and so on. So of course, uh, we use a visit monitor to, um, to disassemble and access uh, memory. We could also have uh, another one, which was Apple to just internal, showing all the CDA and DA table. Uh, we also had where memory, where in memory is, where you have uh, all application and the, the usage of the memory. So um, the idea was to reproduce uh, the same level of information, uh, but this time directly uh, within Siren. So um, it's something we can do uh, directly from FIDER or anytime. Let's start an application that will probably be more useful to see what we can do. And so, of course, uh, we start to connect uh, as usually. Um, <clears throat> and when we have something in memory, we can ask Apple to GS internals we found in the view menu. So from here, um, we have everything we have seen previously on the, on the little utilities. We start with the interrupt vector. So every vector like uh, sound, uh, VBL and break, trace and so on. So you have idea exactly where um, the, the vector has been uh, moved to. By default, you have the init value, what is the value of the JS when it starts and the current value. So for example, the step vector has not been changed. Uh, if we look for uh, VBL, we can see that the VBL uh, has been uh, changed. And we know because the software uses the VBL interruption to count the number of uh, frame. Uh, we also have the quick draw to vector. Uh, we can be changed if we need to uh, redesign the quick draw uh, usage. We also have the file. File is the memory location with all the files currently lo loaded in memory. So of course we, we find our uh, Karate software here and the, the software as a Karate is a multi-segment file. So here we see the segment name and the second segment number of the, of the file <coughs> and the location of the um, in memory where the segment uh, has been loaded. We also can see that while the software is running, we have still in memory a lot of other software running. So we have all the desk access. We can find, uh, of course, the FST uh, used to access the file system. We can see other software like Transport, which is still here, and uh, the list of the tools. Uh, we have the list of CDA. Uh, we can still continue to access through CDA, but here this is the list, and we find the one we were uh, currently using, like uh, uh, 2GS internal and the other one. We have the list on the NDA with, uh, with for every type of software. For example, NDA has an open close action in it. Uh, function on try points, and you, you, you can see them here. You have the list of all the init loaded by the system, all the drivers. So for the moment, I have only the disk driver and console and SSQZ1. All the FST, basically that's the um, uh, common one. Uh, and this is a list of all the memory handle uh, used by the system, and you can see you have uh, more than 300. Uh, you can sort by application, so if I want to find back uh, my Apple 2GS Karate uh, memory location, here they are. So some of them are linked to the fact that a, a segment has been loaded, but we can see that other has been simply allocated uh, by, the, by the software. We have the list of the purge handle and the free handle. And if something is interesting to see, I can have access to the handle. So for example, if I take Peak Viewer, which is a small utility we use to, uh, when we are on the finder to, to display picture or, or run a small animation, if I double click on the handle, I go back at uh, the end. So I was uh, in the init part, I simply have to double click. And so this handle is now uh, examined here. So this is a number, this is the memory handle uh, for the software. And here we have the data uh, linked to this memory handle. So we, we can go inside, we can save the data allocated to a specific handle, uh, if I need uh, to analyze the data later. I can also ask for the disassembly uh, of the area. So here, uh, this is the beginning. When something is not very clean in the disassembly, think back to go back in full 16-bit 16, 16 mode, and I can see quick draw stuff, memory startup, and so on. So that's the beginning of uh, the peak viewer. So 
Apple to JS internal is a way to see, to look, to search uh, without having any more to use uh, the CDA application when you when it's time to understand where your application uh, is loaded in memory and what is are the other application running at the same time and what could be the modification made uh, by your software or other running in memory to the system.